guys. Thanks so much for coming back. Um, today we don't have very much to do. It's supposed to be a really easy day, so I kind of wanted to just go over some stuff with you about iReady Diagnostics that are coming up next week. So let's go ahead and just start with our encouragement cards. I just want you guys to see these, and I want you to, to know that we really do care about you staying positive, you feeling not super stressed out during these tests. So here are some cute little cards that you can print out and you can put right by you during your test if you want. And if you don't want to print them out, then maybe you can keep this tab open um, on your screen or something like that um, while you're on your eye ready. And you can just scroll back and forth once in a while just to remind yourself this. Printing it out would be easier though because you could just look at it. So anyway, here are some cute little cards for you. This one says, take your time. There's a little moose right there and he is encouraging you to take your time. Don't rush, right? Here is the famous little iReady character. I still don't know what he is. Maybe he's like a goo blob. I don't really know. He says you can do it. And um, this is obviously what I believe in you as well. I believe you can do it. Me and Mrs. Christina both, we believe you can do this. You've done it twice already this school year. Just show us one last time and you know more than you knew when you first started school. That's a fact. So you definitely can do it. This one says stay positive. It's telling you to keep a positive mindset, right? Maybe a growth mindset. Maybe if it's difficult, you can think in your head, I don't understand it now, but I know that I will one day, right? Staying positive is really important. Don't be too hard on yourself. Keep on trying. Even when it's difficult, we have to remind ourselves there's not really a good excuse to give up just because it's hard. Um, we do need to keep trying even when the going gets tough. So here are some cute little cards for you, and I'll put this as a link for you to um, print out. I will name them encouragement cards, okay? Here's another one that I want you to see. So um, there's one with a girl holding the sign, and there's one with a boy holding the sign. You can print out any one that you want, or you can just, you know, look at it and then not print it out if you don't have a printer. But um, at least you get to see it in this video. So... If you were to print it, you would put your name here. And it says I, and you put your name. Um, I'll pretend that I'm a student. I, Mrs. Richards, will. And it's telling us all these things we should do in order to be um, ready for our iReady diagnostic and to do well on it. So let's read these really fast. I will take my time and not rush. You see this little purple guy, this rushing sign? They crossed it out. I will take my time and not rush. I will read each question and answer and answer choice carefully. So you're gonna read each question carefully first, and then you're gonna read your answer choices carefully afterwards, just so you can choose the answer that you think would really be best, right? It shows this little magnifying glass right here. If I get a question I have not learned yet, just to do my best. That's That goes right along with what we talked about with our encouragement cards, right? It's another encouragement, just do your best. Even if you don't know it, just do your best. Keep moving forward. For math, I will use a pencil and a paper to work out a problem. Look at this little this little icon. You guys, this is so important. Please don't just, you know, um, guess or think you know the answer and just um, click a box. I really, really think it's very important that even when you feel confident, it's a really good idea to double check your work all the time by writing it out on paper. If you already know what two times four is and you say eight in your head and you're very confident about it because we just learned multiplication, it might be a good idea just to put some dots inside of some groups on a piece of paper. I think that would be really helpful. So please don't miss that opportunity to use a piece of paper and a pencil to get your work done. It's very important that we do our best by carefully even um, writing out our equations, right? So this next one for reading, I will read each passage carefully and go back and reread the passage when necessary. Do you guys remember with our running records, our um, readings that you do with me once in a while, and then I ask you comprehension questions at the end? I don't know if it's fresh in your mind right now, but just try to remember back if not. When we don't go back and look for the answers, sometimes sometimes we guess and we get them wrong. It's very important that we go back and reread whenever we think we need to just have a refresher. The question's asking us something we haven't thought about yet. Maybe we need to go reread. So please don't miss that opportunity either. 
I will double check my answer before moving on. This is perfect. This is just like what we said. Even if you already know two times four, you're going to double check your answer by writing it out on a piece of paper. Even if you think you've already answered all the questions on your um, page on your screen, just double check that you have um, checked every box you need to, okay? And this little other box is for whatever you think you want to put here. Um, another thing that I just want to make really clear for you guys, it's important that we are doing this all on our own. The only reason why we are going to do this I Ready Diagnostic is to see right where you are right now so that we can pick right back up next school year when we start learning again. It's good for us to be able to have that data and to be able to um, just make good decisions for your academics by knowing uh, what you know and what you don't know. So it's important that no one helps you with this, this I Ready Diagnostic. It's important you are doing it all by yourself, okay? Okay, and that's all I have for you today. I hope this was an encouraging lesson for you. It was really quick, and today will be a nice, um, relaxing, chill day for you. So enjoy it, and get ready for um, next week as we begin our iReady stuff on Monday. All right, guys, see you later.